Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some very very useful iPhone tips and tricks that you might not even know that you can do on your iPhone. These are tips and tricks that are kind of hidden within iOS but at the same time they're very very useful and will help you a lot on your everyday use of your iPhone. So here are some really really useful iPhone tips and tricks that you should know about. Starting off with the first one, this is a trick on the email app. Now on the email app right here at the bottom, you will have the delete button. If you tap that, it will just immediately delete an email. But you, what you can actually do is tap and hold on that button and then it will give you two different options. You can trash the message or you can archive the message. Otherwise, if you just tap on it, it will directly delete the email. But if you want to have the option to archive it as well, just tap and hold the delete button. The next one is a trick for the spotlight search. Now on the spotlight search, of course, you will get your series suggestions right here, where you will also get some suggested apps. These are apps that of course you use recently on your device. Now, what you can do here is also use the 3D touch menus. So right here on the icons, you can go ahead and use the 3D touch menu. So just 3D touch on any of the icons and you can use the 3D touch menu right here within the spotlight search. Now the same doesn't happen if you go right here to the widgets. You can see if you tap and hold there, nothing will happen. So it will only work on the spotlight search. On Safari, when you go to the history, you go to the history of your Safari browsing and you will have here the option to clear the history. Now what this will do is just basically clear the complete history of your Safari. But what you can actually do here on the history, you can actually delete these individually. So all you gotta do is just swipe like this on any one of the items that you have on the history on the Safari app and you can go ahead and delete any one of them individually. Whenever you're on Safari and you're on a web page and you want to search for a particular word on that web page, all you have to do is just tap on the bar right there at the top where the web address is and just type any word that you want to search for. So once you have done that, you will get, of course, the Google search suggestions here and all that. But what you got to do is just scroll down and you will find this section right here that says on this page. And you can see right there, it says 11 matches. Now just tap on it and you can see it will find that word on that web page. And you will have this bar right here at the bottom from where you can go ahead and switch between those words. As you can see right here, it has found 11 and you can switch between all those 11 using these little arrows right here at the bottom. When on the iMessage app, you can go ahead and send the same message that you have sent to someone or you have received from someone to someone else very easily. So all you gotta do is just tap with two fingers on any message that you want to forward and then just tap this little arrow right there. As you can see, it will completely copy that message right here. And all you have to do now is just add the contact to which you want to forward that message and you can go ahead and send it directly from here. Now, when sending a message, of course, you use iMessage, but if you don't have like data available or all that and you want to send that as an SMS, all you have to do is when tapping to send, just tap on the message, tap and hold, and then you can tap right here, send as a text message, and then that message will be sent as a simple text message instead of being sent as an iMessage. On the emoji keyboard, you know, when you use like the hands or like people, you know that you get like a, basically a menu that allows you to pick different colors. So if I just send one of these emojis, you can see I can pick a color right here and then it will basically save that. So every time I want to send that emoji, it will send it with that same color that I just picked at the beginning, the first time I send, I use that emoji. But what you can do here is just tap and hold on that emoji and then it will show again that same menu. And from here, then you can go ahead and change the color of the emoji and that will be saved as well. So the last one is always saved and it's, it will be sent by default. But if you wanna switch that, just tap and hold and just go ahead and scroll like that and you can send any color that you want. Of course, one of the best features of the iPhone's camera is the ability to take 
portrait photos and they look amazing. Now you can edit them right here. So you will have the different lighting conditions that you can add to those pictures. And then right here at the bottom, you will get like this bar. Now, if you just slide on this, it allows you to basically change the amount of the effect of the lighting effect. So you can add more or you can add less right here with this slider. Now what you can also do here, and I believe this is a feature that you can find on only newer devices like the iPhone XS and newer, what you can actually do is change the slider by just tapping right there. And now you can go ahead and change basically the depth, the amount of the blur that you have right there in the background. So you can see how that changes just slide it like this and you can basically change the depth on the background of any portrait picture. As you probably know by now, you can scan documents using the Notes app on iOS 13. But did you know that you can also sign them right here on the Notes app? So all you gotta do, if you tap the mar markup tool right there, you can see you won't get that plus button that allows you to do that. So what you have to do is just go ahead tap on that image and then tap the share button and then choose markup from here. Now, if you choose markup from the share button, not from the menu that you get within the notes app, then you will have the plus button right here, which allows you to add any signature that you have. Of course, you will have your saved ones right here and you can add or remove different signatures. So just tap right there and you can add your signature. And of course you can place it anywhere you want on the document. Again, you don't get the signature if you just tap right here, you can see on that button, but you will have to tap on the share button and then choose markup from here. So tap on the share button, choose markup, and then you will get the option here to sign the document directly on the notes app. Now you also have the ability to move notes from a folder to another folder. So all you gotta do is just go ahead and go to a folder and pick the note that you want to move. Just tap and hold on it and drag it just like this and then tap back right there and just go ahead and release it on the other folder. And as you can see, the note will be moved from this folder to the other one as easy as that. So just tap and hold just like you do with apps on the home screen and just release it on another folder and you're good to go. When you're on the notes app, you of course have a lot of attachments on different notes. So you want to view only the attachments that you have on your notes. What you can do is just go to a folder of notes, tap that little button right there and tap view attachments. And what this will do, it will only show the attachments that you have within your notes. So you will have right there the top photos and videos, then you will have your scans right here and you will have right here the websites as well. So if you tap show all on pictures, you will see all the different pictures that you have saved here. And if you wanna see like on which note that attachment is, you can just go ahead and tap right there, show in note, and it will go ahead and open then the note where that attachment is saved. Now when playing music on iOS 13, you know that if you just go ahead and scroll down like this, you will see the history of the music that you have played recently. Now you will have a clear button right there that will completely clear the listening history on your music app. But what you can do also is go ahead and clear these individually. If you just want to keep your history but want to remove certain songs, then of course you can do that. So all you got to do is just swipe like this and click remove and then that song will be removed from the history of the music that you have listened to. And of course, that's very, very useful. You don't have to clear all your music. You can go ahead and just clear any of the songs that you want individually. Did you know that on the Apple Music app, you can actually search songs by lyrics. So if you listen to a song, but you don't know the title of the song, you don't know the singer, the artist of the song, you can just remember a few of the lyrics and then go ahead and search the song using those lyrics. So just tap right here on the search bar and enter the lyrics. And once you have entered the lyrics right there on the search bar, tap search and it will find songs that match those lyrics. As you can see right here, it has found the exact song I was looking for. So as easy as that, just by rem remembering a few words on a song, you can find this song using its lyrics.
On a previous video that I did, I showed you a trick how you can add a magnifier to your screenshots. So when you take a screenshot, you get like the tools there and you can add like a magnifier to point out like certain parts of the screenshot. But did you know that you can do that to the pictures that you have on your camera roll as well? All you gotta do is just go to the picture, tap the edit button, tap those three little dots right there, and then tap on the markup button. Now what you can do is just tap the plus button and you will find the magnifier right here. Now this allows you to add a magnifier right here on any of your pictures. So you have that blue dot which allows you to make it bigger or smaller. And then you will have that green dot which allows you to zoom in and out on the magnifier. And this is very, very useful, especially like if you wanna edit a picture, you wanna point out something that you have on a picture, then you can use this magnifier tool directly from the camera roll on your device. You most likely know about this zoom feature on iOS. So you go to accessibility, you go right here to zoom and you can enable zoom. But did you know that you can also enable a controller? So just go right here, down here we'll find zoom controller and then you will find that little button right there that says show controller. Enable that and then you will have like this little button that allows you to control the zoom. So just go ahead and swipe like this. You can see it shows you that like square right there which basically represents your iPhone and you can go ahead and then just move it like this and zoom anywhere you want on the phone. So basically just swipe on any direction you want to move the zoom like window or even if you use the full zoom and then it will basically just hide that bar but that like little dot right there but you can still use that feature so you can see it just disappears so that it doesn't interrupt you on the screen but you can of course still just move the finger and move the zoom window anywhere you want on the screen. So that's it for this video guys. These are some iPhone tips and tricks that I believe are very very useful and every iPhone user should know and of course use them on their device to get more out of their device and of course perform a different tasks a lot easier and of course faster and of course get more out of their device with these hidden features. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Also don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.